Horizon Forbidden West is definitely an upgrade from the first game in many ways. I am not talking about the graphical part of it, but also the many options it gives you to customize the game to play in your liking. And it's so much customization that you can literally make the game easier in terms of looting, exploring and other things while you can still enjoy a challenging fight. Many ways to play the game the way you want and also some tricks to make it life easier as you progress. So in today's video I want to show you all of the different settings and secret ways you can play the game making your life easier if you choose so. Okay, so let's start off with the most interesting part of this video, which is the setting that will make drastically change the way you fight and loot. If you go on your settings and under general, you have the option to choose the difficulty. You can go from story, easy, all the way to very hard. If you keep scrolling between these difficulties options, you will find a custom setting. This custom difficulty setting though, is what you want to tweak your game to play the way you want. The first thing we want to take a look at is a setting called easy loot you know how you will always have to be careful about not killing the machine entirely before taking the components that you need from them well with the easy loot turn on you don't have to worry about taking the components first because now you will always get all the loot from the machine dropped in the floor after killing it doesn't matter which way it basically the best way to make the game easy since you don't have to worry anymore how to fight a machine carefully to not complete killing it before you get the loot in my case i think it makes the game way too easy for my liking but i can totally understand situations when you want this turned on or maybe you just want to enjoy the game in a not grindy way so this will definitely help you out speaking of helping you out we know the best way to aim is by using concentration so on the general settings right after easy loot toggle we have concentration duration also as a toggle you can change this from default to long or longer by putting this setting on longer you can almost make the concentration time feel like it's doubled from what you currently have. When I tried this setting out, I was blowing away of how much more time of concentration I had, allowing me to take more time to aim and shoot the enemies, taking them down a lot easier. So if you like slowing time with your bow, make sure you take a look at this setting. Still on the same window of settings under general, there is also a toggle for auto heal. Now healing obviously is a huge part of the fight, especially if you are taking many hits. With auto heal toggle turned on, the game will automatically heal for you when you get under 50% total health, assuming you have enough berries. But just keep in mind, there is a slight delay for that healing to activate. Personally, this one is definitely an option that I will keep off like many others because this takes way of the fun of the game for me but as i said i can see where this might come handy for some people and that's why i want to show you this case if you didn't know so now moving on under control settings there is some stuff also you wanted to take a look at if you scroll all the way down you will find a settings to auto sprint on foot turning this on will make the character alloy to always sprint when you are moving I can see this being useful especially in fight where you want to constantly move fast. Also next to it there is a toggle for auto sprint on mount. Personally this is the one I have on, I really like it especially on those races. After that there is another toggle that you definitely want to take a look at under the control settings which is the weapon quick swap. This allows you to quick swap between two last used weapon with just a press of L1 instead of bringing a weapon wheel and switching between them. Additionally, when you toggle this, you can also lock two weapon ammo you want to always quick swap between them by bringing the weapon wheel and tapping square to select the weapon ammo you want to do that. In addition to that, as you are holding L1, if you press R3, that will make Eloy put the weapon away. This is a minor thing, but is a nice touch, allowing you to not always have your weapon in your hand if you don't want to, even though eventually Eloy will always put her weapon away after a moment. Now, there is a plenty of more options to customize your game to your liking, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, but one last one I want to mention is climbing annotation always on 
this is basically does what it says which is showing you the climbing spots always in your screen instead of you having to constantly press r3 in your controller so let's talk about the fast travel bags so in the forbidden west no we don't have the same unlimited fast travel bag the golden one that we had in zero down but instead we have a different approach it's still unlimited and free but you have to do it from the campfire instead from here you can fast travel to any other campfire in the map with an unlimited amount of views you can still buy a fast travel bag and I do recommend having some with you because when you are not close to a campfire and you need to get out of where you are, you can still use the fast travel bag, especially because they don't even cost that much. So for 25 scraps, I have no problem buying some of these at almost any vendor to have some of them with me. Now speaking of fast travel, those loading screens can be a lot faster for you. I mean, at least if you have a PS5 it seems like. So if you go in your settings and right under general scroll down until you find standby screen mode and change it from informative to immediate. What it does is when you are in the loading screens and the game is already loaded and asking you to press X, instead of that the game will just load right away to your character already in the game instead of waiting for you to press it. Now I don't have a PS4 but it seems like the PS5 the loading screens are so much faster with the settings turned on. Now another settings that is not exactly a game changer but rather a nice help is the alloy inventory. If you notice in your inventory it tells you to press the option button in your controller to sort out your inventory by type. Now this seems obvious and is right there in your face but it took me 32 levels later to find this out. Sometimes these things just happen and you miss them like that so that's why I want to mention this in case it happened to you also. Now by sorting this inventory it just makes things a lot better and organized for me I was so mad I didn't know this a lot earlier. And you can do this for your weapons, outfits and coils. So guys that's basically it all I have for you guys in today's video. I hope this video was helpful enough like it was for me finding some of this stuff. So if you enjoyed the video a like would be super appreciated. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.